Hey, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity with the second video to the uh, Air Horn 3.0 video. Immediately after I uh, created that uh, video, uh, I started getting messages as to details on the wiring, so I figured the second video should kind of really review how I hooked it all up so that you don't make the same mistake that I did by just thinking you can hook up two wires to the horn and uh, I make it honk. Yeah, if you take a look at that, then uh, that was not the optimal outcome. Anyways, just as a reminder, this is a small board channel. We do ruckuses. We also do big bikes too, occasionally. We're enthusiasts for all of this stuff. If this sounds like something that you want to watch for the 2021 season, then go ahead and give me a subscribe uh, and click that bell if you want to be alerted on videos in the future. Anyways, let's go ahead and roll that intro. So the first thing we're gonna do is review the diagram. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the screen. The diagram shows that you have a horn and then you have a relay and some random wiring. So the first thing you need to know is that you need to hook up the horn onto the bike, basically mount it. And this is what I did if you didn't watch the previous video. Uh, I don't need to go into any detail as to mounting it because everyone's gonna mount it in a different place. But uh, just remember wherever you're mounted, uh, make sure that you have enough clearance. If you look down here, it clears the uh, the top of the slide carb whenever you close it. And then also be thinking about where you want to put your uh, relay, because there is going to be a relay. So the first thing we need to do is mount this. Second, I went ahead and ran a ground, and I grounded it down here onto my GY6. Now, I believe in the get, there's also a mounting point down here also for the main ground of the bike down here, uh, connected to where the throt where the, the brake cable comes across. So you can use that down here. So that would work. Second, the power goes into the relay. And if you look at the diagram, it'll show you that it'll uh, go into the relay on one side and then the other side of the relay goes all oops goes all the way down to your battery i have it hooked up over here on my battery and it comes down the side of the bike goes through here comes up here i could do a better job wiring it up but right now this will work and it goes up to here and then if you look on the diagram the left and right side why is it If you look on the diagram, the left and the right side connect to the relay. Those are the two wires that come off of your horn. So this is similar to the horn that you'll have in the front, but it'll have two wires and this will be sitting in the front of your battery box. It doesn't it's not look like this, but it has two connections like this. What I did was I took those connections, which right here says horn. Uh, the stock bike also has these two and I created a clip switch or a, a clip and then made it go all the way down here into here and extended it up this cable and into here. So to review, grind the, ground the bike, ground the horn to somewhere on the bike or ground it to the battery. I just didn't want to run a cable all the way to the front. So I grounded it to the frame, power. Now keep in mind, these are also positive and negative. I went ahead and took the power into the relay per the diagram. It'll show you what number on the pin to connect it to. It'll show you what number to connect to the pin here to wire it to your battery. Now it's a good idea to put an inline fuse on this. I just don't have one at the moment. So I'll end up putting one later on under there. I got plenty of fuses uh, right by my battery as it is already. And then connect your two wires here and then you're ready to go. That's it. From the side, you can see it down here. You can't see it from the back. 
from the other side I technically can't really see it but you can see it from the front it says bad boy on there so I think what I'll do I think what I'll do is I'll just take that sticker off maybe put another sticker on it or something like that and then of course I have it hooked up to the SCV switch and there's my horn right here you can also put a different horn somewhere else if you want or I mean the connection to this horn is the exact same as uh, the get and the GY6 so you can use that anyways after this it's time to go ahead and close up the battery box with that mess of wiring and I got myself a super horn anyways it's that simple with the diagram it's easy you should be able to take care of it quickly I hope I was able to explain this if you have any questions about what I did go ahead and leave a comment below I'll be happy to answer them you can also catch me on Instagram or Facebook if you want and I should be able to answer it from there too but the next video after this we'll go ahead and do a moto vlog ride right around and honk out people to see if it gets their attention just like we did on the old horn anyways Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.